Meanwhile, the British government is all set to unveil a much-anticipated legislation that aims at stopping illegal migrants from crossing the channel on small boats. This bill is likely to be introduced sometime later today. The law seeks to prevent anyone deported from re-entering the United Kingdom and the person can never claim a British citizenship. The plan is being criticised by refugee rights groups. They say that this plan is simply unworkable, which would also target refugees in a very cruel manner. However, the British Home Secretary, Sweller Breverman, has insisted that the new rules are needed to control the dangerous voyages across the English Channel, which is also one of the world's busiest shipping lanes as well. Earlier, the British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, had made the migrant issue one of the top priorities for his government this year. The unveiling of this new bill also comes ahead of a summit where the French President Emmanuel Macron is expected to feature enhancing cooperation with the United Kingdom to stop these boats. Now, according to the government figures, in 2022, about 45,000 migrants crossed the English Channel. The latest figures, in fact, suggest that more than 2,900 migrants have already crossed the English Channel this year. And migrants range from countries such as Albania, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria. The spike in migrations has also fueled the growing backlog of asylum cases. As at this moment, at least about 160,000 of these refugees are awaiting a decision on their refugee status in Britain. And to give us more updates in terms of what, of course, is expected to happen over this legislation, we are being joined in by our correspondent Alex Isaac, who's joining us live from Britain at this moment. Alex, this is a crucial bit of legislation, but also could turn out to be very controversial. Tell us as to why... Rishi Sunak and Suela Bremen want to push ahead with this. Absolutely. It is already controversial, as you rightly point out. Now, we will hear from Suela Bravman. She'll be speaking in under an hour to really go through what exactly this new bill will mean. But what we do understand is that the bill will take precedent over anybody trying to seek asylum in the UK illegally. And that includes those that are claiming over for modern slavery or people trafficking. So that will mean that their human rights is not going to be the first thing that they will be trying to stay in the country for when they come to the country on those small boats. Now, it's meant to prevent those small boats from trying to head across the channel. And as you rightly say, we've seen hundreds and thousands over the past few years. In fact, two years ago, Priti Patel tried to put in place the National Borders Bill. In fact, it became law not that long ago. But since then, 45,000 have travelled across the channel. So it doesn't seem to be making any difference to those who are trying to cross. And there does seem to be a business for those who are making money or bringing people over to the UK. Now, five years ago, Sajid Jafid also tried to do something similar and Labour back in 2003 as well. So this kind of bill has been trying to be pushed through. We're trying to get people to stop coming to the country. But this legislation is going to be slightly different. It will push the boundaries of human rights law from what we understand. It is going to tell people that actually coming over illegally, you could be sent back straight away and you won't be put up in housing and you won't be allowed to have the, the right. other things that other people have had within the UK that have come and tried to seek asylum here. And we do understand that there's also going to be a potential cap on any refugees coming to the country, legally or not. So there's, there's going to be a lot of change that's going to be happening. And of course, this does have to go through the Commons and the House of Lords before it becomes a bill. But Suella Bravman is expected to say that it will be retrospective. So that means from today, all of this bill that will potentially come in place in a few months time will be that no one should be clambering to get across the channel in the months leading up to the bill being in power. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Alex Izad, for joining us and getting us all those updates. We'll of course come back to you as more details emerge through the day or the story. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.